Now, an important aspect of understanding what's required from students through their internal assessments are looking at the annotated examples. So essentially, these are worked examples that the students have uh, produced, although they are, tend to be only just samplings of what students produce. Um, and you'll find these also in the annual reports for the subject. So these represent the material that the QCAA has provided to help teachers understand what is involved with the internal assessments. And there are a range of different um, responses from high level um, through to standard, um, a standard response. And they give an understanding of what to look for in terms of the marking process. Now, you will mark your students' work, um, but you will then send that off for confirmation and other teachers will look at that and see whether or not your marking has been appropriate to what the students have submitted and what the syllabus says and the um, internal assessments and so forth. So that again comes with experience and time, but the instrument specific marking guides are designed to assist you in constructing your task and assist you in marking the task and then also to assist those that are confirming your assessment um, in understanding what you're trying to assess for your students. But again, we'll discuss these in more detail in the tutorial.